Hello, everybody. Oh, let me, I forgot. Good morning, everybody. Hey, guys. So, today, it's going to be story time. Oh, my gosh, guys. I know you guys have probably been wondering where have I been and guys let me tell you I've been at home sick 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 I want to make a great announcement my family and I will be expecting a new baby come January 2020 yes guys I am super excited but throughout my excitement, I have been extremely sick. This baby guy has been putting me through the ringer and back. I am now 10 weeks and three days. Um, and I've been feeling every bit of it. I haven't been having energy. I haven't been having stamina. I've just been really sick, nauseated tired, sleeping, peeing all day. It's just been a serious world when my body is metamorphing into a cocoon that will house my new baby. And I've been feeling every bit of it. Um, So that's where I've been. I've been at home. You see this couch? This couch has been my best friend for the past six weeks. That's where I've been. I've been trying to dumpster dive. You guys know I love dumpster diving, but I haven't had the energy to dumpster dive. I tried dumpster diving with the girls the other day, but that wasn't a success. I'm so sorry, guys. This right here is my towel that I use to remove some of the excess lava that I've been uh, creating. But um, as I was saying, um, I tried to go dumpster diving with the girls, but... It's just, it wasn't, it just did not go right. I had to keep my eye out on them. I wasn't feeling well. I was sick to the stomach. It just wasn't a good time to dumpster dive. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys that video in a few minutes. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I've been. I haven't forgotten about you guys, but your girl just been down. Haven't been able to clean up my house. Um... The only thing I can really do, guys, is bathe myself, brush my teeth. As you can see, I wasn't even able to do my hair, so I had to go and get braids. It's just been really bad, really, really bad. And they say the first trimester is usually the toughest. So hopefully next week, I'll be 12 weeks, it'll be over because they say after 12 weeks, everything usually subsides. So that's what I'm hoping for. Keep me in your prayers, guys. And... Um, I will still try to do videos. I might not do as much dumpster diving, but I will be doing uh, probably pregnancy updates, family vlogs. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Chit chats and story times and things like that. Um, it's just I've been whooped. And what time is it? Uh, right now, it's almost time for me to go and get the girls. I have Journey, Haley, and L'Oreal. They are uh, participating in a summer camp where they will be going from four, from 10 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock. It's been a big help um, because I don't really have to attend to them a lot, <clears throat> especially during this time. <clears throat> it's been kind of tough to even do anything. And I feel so sorry for my baby because I'm not able to get up. I don't have the, the energy to get up and get out of this house and take her places. So I'm glad that she's at the summer camp so she can get all her running around and you know uh activity time there um i am gonna let them play outside today and probably do some arts and crafts but it's like i get up as soon as i open my eyes in the morning i can just feel the nausea just coming on and it doesn't let up you know i try anything i eat i'll get full immediately like after three bites i'm sorry guys I'll get full like after three bites and then <clears throat> I start getting nauseated and then within the next 30 minutes I'm hungry again so it's just a constant like um revolving door I'm hungry I eat I get full I get nauseated I'm spitting hungry eat get full 
nauseated, spitting. That That's what my life is right now, and it's tough. But besides all of that, guys, I am extremely happy. Um, I just pray that this pregnancy lasts, that it completes. I pray that I'm able to see my little one in January. Um, everybody is extremely happy. The children are happy, especially Mrs. Haley. Antoine is happy. We are all looking forward to um, welcoming our little, little one. So, guys, again, just keep me in your prayers, guys. Um, and without further ado, let me show you guys the dumpster dive that I did with the girls. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. We can find something great. If not, as always, we've been blessed and we've been blessed with a lot more. So, guys, let's get started with our dumpster diving adventure. Ciao! <laughs> I decided to take my babies with me on a dumpster diving excursion. Journey been asking and asking and asking, and I promised her that I would do it today. So, that's just what we're gonna do. Right now, we are at the gas station. We gotta take Taylor to work. We're going to head off and get started with our adventure. Hopefully, guys, I can find some amazing stuff. Hopefully, I don't find too much stuff because, as you guys see, I don't have any room in the back. So, whatever it is that I do find, I hope it's great, and I hope it's small enough to fit in the trunk. Y'all ready? Yes. yes. Let's get started. All right, guys, so it's time for us to go ahead and get suited and booted. The girls have, they got a, a face mask, and they're going to get gloves. They have on clothes that they oh, don't like, normally wear all the time. Oh, it looks and like if I they do, it it's okay because they won't be wearing it until after it's washed. Did you get your gloves? No. Get your gloves. And these are the gloves. Pop it. Pop it. And they just. All right. All right, guys. Y'all ready? Hold on. So this is our final look. That's their final look. Gloves and mask. So listen, here's the thing. Once you touch the garbage can, you can no longer touch your faces. Don't touch any place on your body, okay? Yep. Because at that point, your gloves are then contaminated. What's that mean? That means now they have bugs and germs on them. Mm. So do not. Repeat. Do not. Touch your face. Touch your faces or your body. So all you guys are going to do really is just lift the lids. I'm not going to let you dig in it. Okay? Because uh -uh. it's dangerous. We're riding along an automobile Just to see what we can find Garbage Garbage What? And I hope we Can find something great Let's go, girls. So come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. That's what I want you guys to do. We're gonna lift the lid. Let's lift it. I didn't lift it. Ooh, what's that? I didn't lift it. It's flat. Mommy, I didn't lift it. Hold on, Haley. You can lift the other one. Wait, what's this? Okay. Let's see. Wait, that. What's the? Oh, that's the point. No, don't get up there. Don't get up there. You just lift and look. Don't get in. Okay. Here, let's put it down together. Come on. Put it down together. One, two, three. Whoa. All right, let's go this way. All right, let's see. Wait, just lift. What's in here? Nothing in here. Okay. Close it. Okay, come on. All right. We're going to walk right there. See that vacuum right there? All right. All right, don't touch, don't touch. All right, guys, this is gonna be challenging having these girls here with me today because they are so excited, but I have to make sure the coast is clear before I allow them to touch anything. All right, guys, so here's a vacuum cleaner called Press and Grab and Go. Not gonna take it, as you can see, it's, it looks as if it's broken, like, right here. Oh, no. Like, right in that net. We're not taking it. Okay, let's lift. Let's lift. Oh, oh yeah. hey. It's spiked. Haley, you struggling. Come here. I feel like old feet. <laughs> Ow! Come here. Oh, hey. 
All right, yours on right? Okay, come on. What's that? There's nothing in here. Nothing in here, okay. All right, so let's, no, no, let's go right here. Let's go this way, come on. This way, walk straight ahead. Yeah. Because I'm gonna see if it's something in this trash. All right, y'all stay together. Careful when we looking in here because you don't want nothing to jump out at you. Uh-uh, don't touch this. All right, let's go. Don't touch your face. Don't touch anything, okay? Okay, come on, this way. It stinks. Well, what do you expect? Okay, wait, before you go out, look both ways. Because this is an alley and cars come through here. All right, let's take those gloves off. Come here. Come here, take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Give it to me. All right, you guys, go ahead and have a seat. Okay, wait. Yeah, go get in the car. All right, guys, so we didn't find anything there, so we're going to keep riding along. Uh-uh, no fighting, girl. Oh, this is my seat, Journey. Get out. Journey, y'all stay in y'all same spot. Excuse me. This is going to be a long day. A really long day, I can tell. What we gonna find, girls? What we gonna find? Garbage. What we gonna find, girls? What we gonna find? Garbage. What we gonna find, girls? What we gonna find? Garbage. What we gonna find, girls? What we gonna find? Let's wipe your hands. Wipe your hands. Wipe your hands. All right, guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not going to allow the girls to touch the cans anymore. Um, I'm just gonna have them watch on the sideline or in close proximity of me, because the reason being is because I don't want to continue to keep having them exposed to the possibilities of uh, bad germs, and I'm noticing that they're not really um able to understand how important it is not to touch anything on their bodies with the gloves that they use to open up the lid and for that reason guys i'm not going to have them dive anymore they want to work the cameras i might let them do that as a job but again as far as them actually touching the garbage cans that's it we're done with that so as you can see it did not turn out well i just wasn't in the mood i couldn't really keep my eye on the girls and for sanitary purposes i wasn't really able to allow them to dive as much as they wanted to i just did not feel comfortable having them dive um but they did enjoy the the little uh experience that they did have um they were kind of upset with me because they wanted to do more but again i just wasn't comfortable with their whole situation so guys that is it let me go ahead and go and pick up the girls from summer camp and then i'm going to make dinner. I think we're going to have spaghetti and garlic bread. Oh, I want to let you guys know too. With this pregnancy, my diet changed tremendously. As many of you guys know, I was vegan for about six years, right? Unfortunately, guys, I had to start back eating dairy, cheese, yogurts, um, 
that's been a consistent thing um, that I've been put, you know, incorporating in my diet, so I can give my baby calcium and you know things that it, it will probably need. First part of the pregnancy, that's all I was able to eat was cheese and crackers. So, you know, the things that we have to do as mommies, right? Um, but I know once I have the baby, I'm gonna go back to my full vegan mode. But as for now, I, I just want to make sure my baby is healthy. I want to make sure I'm getting enough nutrients and I got to do what I got to do. So I couldn't really continue with the vegan diet, but hey, you got to do what you got to do as a mother, right? All right, guys. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being patient. I know many of you have been asking in the comment section, where have you been? And as you can see, this is where I've been, okay? I love you guys. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Take care. Bye. Got my head over water for the first time in years. My feet cross the border from a land of tears.